Well, what do we know? We got the squeakies for here, but I realized that the squeakies probably the type of floor I'm stepping. Maybe that's what it is. Hello and welcome back to the show. In today's video, we're checking out the brand new Mellow Moab 3. Not two, not one, number three. The brand is newest edition of all the Mellows out there, which stands for the model of all boots. Pretty much so. And yeah. I love this smell, brand new smell of freshly minted shoes. Oh my God, this is good. Mel's keeps it stinky in a good way. And yeah, there is a bad way for them to stink those shoes, but I have had only the second variation of this, so I cannot attest how good the first edition was, but a lot of people say the first edition was amazing. So let's check this one out. Well, it is not made in China anymore, it is made in Vietnam. So those shoes are awesome in my opinion, because, not because, they're not made in China. They are awesome because they're the third variation of the best selling and best shoes I have ever tested on this channel probably. Now, in terms of style, I know this is not for everybody. Not everyone likes this style, but those shoes just work exactly right. They have the right combination and spice of just about anything out there. The biggest question is, of course, is how does this work on feet? Does it actually translate to being a great shoe just because they're great locals? And when I got those, I'm like, oh, sand version. I got to get the sand edition of this because it just looks so good. Now, it also has those sparkles all the way on the bottom as well. Now, there is a few special edition that comes out with this kind of version of Mellow. And if you check my other shoe reviews, I have reviewed hundreds, maybe about a hundred or so of shoes on this channel. And Mellows are probably the only kind of shoes that when you put them on your feet, they feel like a glove on it. They are just awesome. Now, the first thing is, do they, you know, have some freedom of movement? And they do. Also, they have very nice races and looks to them so yeah they definitely up the game with those mouth and made them look so much more better than previously and closing up to them you can see over here that the rest of the shoe is just fabulous look at how the attention to details actually is over here and i'm having a hard time thinking if i should keep those or get a different version of them because there's just so many funky and nice looking styles i do like the way this specific version actually looks from the bottoms which is one of my favorite colors for shoes the bottoms look exactly right over here next is the black blackout over here with uh, the desert in the black and desert is just the the core combination here is just really great over there as well and they also have some support on the sides too with minimalistic logo of m right here so one thing you will notice off the bat that mel does not go ahead and do like nike does everywhere is nike 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 written all over it with mel it is more subtle into the actual shoe itself Right here you can see like Mellow, Vibram on the logo and a small logo right here and a little bit on the back which if you are a Millennium you probably love this because there's just uh, you don't like wearing other people's brands and showing them off so this shoe is just right for that and for people who don't like showing off though you know which company i'm wearing and just like to have good feel shoes for yourself mel is definitely one of those companies specifically the more version but in terms of looks 
yeah they hit it off pretty good the biggest question of course is how well is this on feet and we're going to be doing that next for you so you can see if this shoe actually translates to a great shoe on the feet or is just good looking in my opinion it's probably both let's find out right now with the on feet test hello and welcome back to another video review in today's video we're checking out the moabs number three Moab stands for the model of all boots and with no exception this is one of the better shoes that Mel actually created. Now as the saying goes if you make something really good do not fix it. Do not fix something that is already great. And they did exactly that. They took very good shoes and they fixed it supposedly they made it better there's two issues with it one is the old issue have not actually so this is an issue plaguing every single marrow out there and it can never get a perfect 10 style because of it and it is right here what's the issue the shoelaces easily untie themselves and the only way for you to tie them is to double tie it I have not seen anything else that solves this issue. And regardless what you do, if you don't double tie them, they're gonna get untied. I don't know how else to fix this issue. And if someone else knows, maybe I'm not tying my shoe right, uh, let me know. The next problem is totally different. What they did is they took one part of the shoe the support arc and they put it right here so the support arc is right there it's no longer go, going across the shoe supposedly that was a great idea but it's not let me show you exactly why so this is the older version of the metal the support arc goes around all the way over here so your foot it goes all around it and it goes down the way too so it goes all throughout the entire shoe distributing the force and the weight when you're walking all around it unfortunately the new shoe is distributing the actual stress into a different level which is right here it just goes right there and the other side as well now this might seem like yeah it makes the shoe definitely much better working but it brings a different kind of an issue the issue it brings is that I can feel a little bit stress right here the stress is coming because the whole entire shoe the whole base of it is being forced with those columns to put extra pressure right there and I believe if you're going to be hiking for a while, this is not going to wear itself out. It's just going to keep on reinforcing this pain. And right now it is very, very slight, but I can feel it. This is something I have never felt in a metal before. So either it's going to go away after a while, it's going to break the mold in, or this is going to become a new problem with those shoes. So I want you to be aware of what potentially could be an issue with the metal free and you don't know if it is yet or not other than that they are very stylish they are very comfortable and they look great you can see in the bottoms look how nice they actually look like and they are so much better looking than the previous version that being said this is a limited edition I believe that I got of those shoes there was definitely different kinds and this kind of like a desert black version is really fabulous really nice looking I really like this style so overall I really like those shoes I like how they, they feel on my feet and they're much more comfortable than the previous version and even the low tops usually the high tops were much more comfortable it seems like the low tops now are decently almost as well made as the high tops which were 
way better, a little bit better than the wall tops version. Now they are exactly the right size for your feet. So if you're getting a nine, usually you get nine, stay with a nine. I think they're a little bit smaller than usual marrows, but you still will not be able to tell the difference. It's just such a small difference between them. And plus, you can always loosen up. You can always loosen this up just a little bit more, and it's much easier for your feet as well. Now let's do a few tests. Freedom of movement is really nice, and if you're going to do the Michael Jackson walk, you can do that as well. Now let's go ahead and check out the jump test. How do those things jump with? And they have very good traction. And also, you don't feel the jump at all. There's a lot of balance over there. It gives you a lot of support, which is really great about those shoes. I really like that. So, overall, I highly recommend them. I think they're a little bit better in my opinion, than the previous version. They are not heat sink anymore. That was a problem with the previous version. It was a little bit too hot in them. There is... Uh, the only issue, like I said, is this tightness over there that I have not noticed in the previous models. Anything else is just really nice about them. They are just better working. That is for sure. There is no doubt about it. The previous version was a little bit oggy okay in the tooth and this one is way better looking way more stylish and aggressive look especially at the front over here i do like the way they look uh there's an unfortunate issue is the price um at least right now date we are talking about 110 120 for those shoes and as of release right now you can get a lot up mellow for about $60 at this time of the year. It definitely is going to go maybe higher or lower depending on the seasonality of it and if you have a coupon or not. Those shoes are definitely do vary in pricing so keep this in mind and maybe they are 110 right now but they might go on sale later on as well. So yep. Yeah. Now what we're going to be doing is comparing this to the older version just to see the difference and to see how it feels so we can get back and tell you well which one is the better and the superior version the old or the new. So I put another copy of the older version over here and this one actually wore this for almost two years straight. This is how much I like them and one of the reasons why I just want to see how it's going to go if I go ahead and abuse it as much as possible. And can you tell the difference? Not much. There is very little sign of abuse because those shoes can take a lot of beatings. Something that oh, very few shoe companies can actually do that. Which is why I keep on coming back to the metals. The fit, the finish, and the comfort in them is outstanding. Now, I don't have any other skin in this game. I don't get paid by this company to support them. I'm only saying it because I like their product. So the difference between them and which one is better, the two and three, the third one has a lot more arch support. I like how it feels a little bit more. It seems like it has more cushioning in it. If I was going to pick between the two shoes, well, the two, the second version is more like you feel like you're kind of walking on the ground. You kind of can feel what you're stepping on. And that's not the five finger sensation. Yeah, it's not that good, but you can still feel that you're stepping on something. On the other hand, the third version is a lot more stiffer. Not in terms of like what you're pressing on, but more of like what you feel when you're stepping on anything. You can't actually feel what you're stepping on. So if you like feeling whatever you are stepping on and knowing that you're whatever you ground you stepped on, then the second one is for you. The third one is more like traditional shoes. You really don't feel if you step on most 
things unless it's something pretty sharp or like a lock or something. So that is one of the differences. When it comes to heat retention, uh, the one on the left, the second version, seems to be still a heat sink and this one seems a little bit more vented, a little bit. This is not such a big difference between them. In terms of comfort, they're about similar too. So yeah, overall, both shoes are very, very good. The value is definitely on the second one. The looks is on the improved edition and it all depends on your comfort level and which one you like more. If you did enjoy this review and you want to help my channel out, make sure you smash the thumbs up button. If you want to see any more reviews of shoes or other stuff like that, let me know below. And see you in the next episode of the Tech Show. And of course, what is the rating for this? Well, the previous edition probably gets a 9 because it was almost perfect. The newest edition gets 9.5. The only reason it is a little bit bump up is because of the styling. It is really the only difference that I would give it. Of course, you could say a small minus is because it has the different, arch, different support system here. And it seems to be giving a little bit of a pain in this area, but it could be a fluke. It could be I have a bad version, it could be just I haven't broke them in enough. So it's hard for me to give this a final rating in terms of that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next episode. And let me know below which one are you going to be getting and why. And do you think the third one is much better shoe or the second one is the better one out there? And of course, one thing for you to keep in mind, make sure you buy the second one if you do need one because soon they will stop making them and only the third will be available because this happened before with the first edition.